Hey guys, so today's video is going to be another makeup decluttering video and I've been doing a lot of these but I just want to get through all my makeup. So today's video is going to be me decluttering concealers and I'm going to be doing the exact same like angle I guess as I did with the eyeliners because I just like it. I don't really like how I was doing it before so I'm just gonna do it this way. Like it's it's better for me so I'm gonna do that and today is going to be concealers and I actually have quite a few. These two things are all concealers so I'm going to be decluttering all of this and yeah hopefully I can do it before I have to go pick up my sister. Okay so I'm gonna start with decluttering this and these are really old like not like old like expired but I don't really use these at all. I just don't like them. A lot of them are actually almost out and some of them are old so I don't know why I keep them, but first thing is a Sonia Kashuk. Kashuk? I don't know how to pronounce the last thing, but it's a concealer palette and it's in 07 light. And I actually did use this a lot, but um, that was like three years ago. And I don't use it anymore because it is probably old. So I'm gonna just throw this away. So I'm getting rid of that. But hopefully this decluttering video, I get rid of more than I have other videos. This is the Maybelline. Also, my hair is a complete mess. I don't know what's going on there. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Double Face Perfect Perfector. This is the concealer and then this is a highlight. This is kind of weird. Oh, it smells chemically. Chemically? It smells like chemicals. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna get rid of this. I don't use it. I don't even know. Why I keep that? This is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer plus brightener. This is just like a clicky pen thing, like it comes like this. Uh, I actually use this. I have two of these, I think. I actually use this a lot, a long time ago, and I did like it, but I don't use this anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer in Warm. Not really my shade for like a concealer, but I did use this for a while also, but I'm gonna get rid of this because it's like almost all gone and I'm not gonna use it. I have another one. This shade is in Warm 2. Um, oh wow, this is actually their new, or this was their brand new one, like when they first came out with this, and this is not. That's weird. Anyway, but I'm gonna get rid of this one too. The next thing is this L'Oreal. <laughs> Man, I have a lot of L'Oreal. Uh, L'Oreal de Decrease Eyeshadow Base. Uh, this is not even, well, that's kind of concealer. I don't, I don't use this. I'm just gonna get rid of it. This is the Ulta Beauty Color Correcting Liquid Concealer. Oh, it's waterproof. And this is a green. It is a color correcting, as it says. I'm gonna keep this just because I don't have color correcting things. I've used it. I used this once, but I'm gonna keep that just in case I'm gonna use it, which I probably won't, but. And then this is the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. This is just the same as this, except this is just a this is actually an eye primer and brightener. It's not even a concealer, but it's in a clicky pen. And then this is just a, what are these called? Stick concealers? I think, I think these are called stick concealers. I can't remember. I used this a while actually, and I did like it, but I don't use it anymore. So I'm just gonna get rid of that too. I get rid of a lot of concealers and like, instead of like eyeliners and mascaras and stuff, because concealers like you, like, I don't wanna, like old concealers or concealers that I are almost out or something. I don't wanna use them just because I don't wanna break out my face, so I just get rid of them. This is the City Color Photo Chic Dark Spot Corrector. I've never actually used this, so I'm just gonna keep it. Uh, and I just got it a little while ago. Okay, this is the, this is Nude Stick. Okay, so this is the Nude Stick Concealer pencil in light two. I actually didn't even know I had this. I've never used it, so I'm gonna keep this. The next thing is the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Active Something Cream Concealer. And it's natural tone. Is that the actual thing? But I've never used this, so I'm gonna keep it. I've never even opened it, but. So I'm gonna keep that. Then that is all the concealers out of this. So I actually got rid of a lot. I'll show you what I'm keeping. So out of out of this thing, I'm keeping the Ulta color correcting thing, the nude stick. 
and the photo chic city color uh, dark spot corrector and then this hey honey thing i'm only keeping four concealers and that is that which this was all the way full so i'm really happy that i got rid of all that out of that thing i'm getting rid of all of this okay so now we're gonna go through this thing this is these are the concealers that i use like more often there is one foundation in here but these are the concealers that i use more often and the Instead of like the concealers I just put in a drawer, these are actually out on my vanity. But so I'm gonna go through this. So this is the Benefit Erase Paste. But I don't even know if this is an actual concealer. It's just a brightening camouflage for eyes and face. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is a concealer, but um, I've never used this actually. So I want to use it. So I'm gonna keep this one. I then have the It Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. I haven't used this one yet, so I'm going to keep this one. Also, I really like the uh, Bye Bye uh, like concealers and everything from It Cosmetics, so I'm going to keep that one. Also, I have another It Bye Bye Under Eye, but this is just the, this is not the illuminating one. I haven't used this one yet, so I'm going to keep this. I then have, let's see. I have so much. I then have the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer, and this one is in 02. I use this a lot. I actually did not like it at all when I first got it, and like I just put it back in this drawer, and I didn't use it for a while, and then just like a few, like I guess like a month or two ago, I started using it again, and I really like this. So I don't know what changed, but I really like this concealer now. So I'm gonna keep that one. I then have the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. This one is in, what is this in? I think it's fair. Oh, this one's in porcelain. It's not porcelain. It is like orange undertone which is kind of weird and when i got it i used it once and i didn't like it just because of the color but then i used it again just a few days ago just to carve out my eyebrows and i liked it it like blended out pretty good and it matched the my skin tone so i don't know why but so i guess i'll keep this i guess i may get rid of it later but i'm gonna keep that for right now just because i used it like twice i then have the maybelline fit me uh, concealer and 15 fair. I actually think this may be all out. Oh, that's not, why don't I use this? I'm gonna keep this. I didn't actually, I thought it was all out and I just kept it to remind myself to buy another one, which I haven't yet, but. So I'm gonna keep this one just because there's still some left and, um, and it reminds me to buy another one. I then have the ColourPop no filter concealer and this one's in light neutral i actually just bought another one of the, this because this one is all out which is really sad but i just bought another one because they're at ulta now i was waiting to get another one when i need one and more things from ColourPop, so i didn't like order a things and have to pay shipping for every single thing but they're this concealer is at ulta now so i bought another one uh so i'm gonna get rid of this since it's all out so I'm getting rid of that. I then have two Makeup Revolution concealers in C1 and they're both almost out. I actually just bought another one. Oh wait, I've been using the wrong one. Okay, well, that explains it. I just bought a new one a few weeks, or I guess it was like oh, a few weeks ago because I was almost like the other one was almost out and then like a week ago, I noticed that the one I bought was almost out, but I think that I've been using the like the older one that is like almost out. So that explains it. So I'm gonna keep both of these because I have to figure out which one's the old one. Do I even have any more concealers? Okay, that's actually all the concealers I have in this thing. All the other things are like primers and a fa one foundation, which I don't keep foundations in here, so I don't know why this one's in here. And then I have a CC cream. The concealers that I'm keeping out of this is the Benefit one, the It Cosmetics one, the NYX, the LA Girl, the Maybelline, and then the Makeup Revolution one. So I'm keeping all of these, which it seems like a lot, but these are the concealers that I really like and that like are new concealers. But I am getting rid of this ColourPop one just because it's 
old. Well, that is all that I'm getting rid of out of this. And that finishes all the concealers that I have. I feel like I got rid of a lot, actually. I got rid of eight the concealers, actually. So that is really good. I'm actually really happy that I got rid of all these. So that finishes up the makeup decluttering of my concealers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I only have a few more things that I'm going to do. And then I probably stop these makeup decluttering videos just for like a few weeks just because I'm posting too many of them. But I want to uh, do more makeup looks because I haven't done one in a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys next time.